Well, this just happened. Haley Baldwin is officially a Bieber. Not only that, but she recently celebrated her birthday. And in true Bieber style, he gifted her a luxurious necklace. You know, in case she forgets who she's married to. Now the couple is spending a lot of time together. They seem to be made for each other. But fans couldn't help but notice a few little red flags here and there. Make sure you watch this video until the end to see why Justin and Haley Bieber make married life seem like a total breeze. Before we jump into it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to The Taco for more great content. Now, let's get into the inside lives of Mr. and Mrs. Bieber. It was none other than Stephen Baldwin who first introduced the Biebs to his daughter, Haley Baldwin, during a meet and greet in 2009. Slowly but surely, the two youngsters became friends. But love didn't seem to be in the air for these two. At one point, the Biebs was dealing with his on-again, off-again relationship to Selena Gomez. Boy, that was a total nightmare. But Gomez wasn't the only girl he laid eyes on. Justin had plenty of company from famous actresses and models like Adriana Lima and Sophia Richie. He dated Lionel Richie's daughter in 2016 for about a month. Before that, he was dating Transformers actress Nicola Peltz. But don't feel too bad for Haley. She's dated a couple of interesting people too. She allegedly dated Drake back in 2016 and then moved on to internet star Cameron Dallas. Then Haley and the Biebs rekindled their love over the summer. And just like that, the couple announced their engagement. To say that we were shook is a major understatement. No one could have seen that one coming. Ever since they became official, it's been a wild ride for these two. The Biebs serenaded his beautiful fiancé during a visit to the UK, and in September, they actually took it one step further and got their marriage license. Now, Justin Bieber is a married man, and he's not afraid to say it, but Haley isn't scared to call herself Mrs. Bieber either. Next to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding, we're all dying to get a glimpse of the Canadian-American royal couple, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. But we might have to start calling her Haley Bieber from now on, as the beautiful blonde has officially dropped her last name, at least on Instagram. Despite being legally married, the couple seemingly avoided calling themselves husband and wife. According to them, they didn't think it was truly official until they had a church wedding. In any case, the Biebs and his wife were super stoked about their upcoming nuptials. And so are we. There are rumors that the Kardashian-Jenner sisters are going to be bridesmaids. And we can't wait to see what Hailey looks like in a haute couture wedding gown. Will she go for a modern yet edgy new designer? Or will she keep it classy and traditional with a Vera Wang gown? You never know with these two. They could just as easily walk down the aisle in a white linen dress and a pair of flip-flops on a beach in some faraway land. What can we say? The Biebs and Hailey are totally unpredictable. Whatever the case may Maybe. We absolutely love the fact that she's starting to celebrate her marriage openly. We're just hoping they let us take a peek at their church wedding. But some fans think that day will never come, particularly after a few pictures of a tearful Justin made headlines. Could married life already be taking a toll on the young couple? We'll be the first to admit that we had some serious doubts about these two when they announced their engagement. Everyone just assumed that this was a wild summer fling that was going to end after a few months. They spent some time in London in September 2018, and you could clearly see these two couldn't have enough of each other. Each other. But a few weeks later, the couple vanished from our radars, and our worst fears seemed confirmed. The two lovebirds had gotten their wedding license that same month, but that church wedding they talked about having didn't happen at all. So naturally, fans figured they were over, especially when the paparazzi caught Justin crying in public next to his young wife. To make matters worse, he was seen holding a copy of a book titled The Meaning of Marriage. So really, you can't blame fans for assuming the worst. But just like that, they proved their love was just as strong as ever. The Biebs told TMZ that he was just having a bad day. After all, he's allowed to be human. Justin has never been shy about his relationship with the big guy upstairs, which explains why he and Haley love to go on church dates. It might not sound very romantic, but it's super important to them. Church is their favorite date spot. In fact, Haley Baldwin had a spiritual upbringing and has a super tight connection with God. In fact, she talks about it on social media quite a bit, and she's glad that the people in her life share the same beliefs as her. This has allowed her to stay grounded and true to herself. Thankfully, she found a sweet-looking soulmate who feels the same way. Religion is a big deal for these two. So much their spiritual connection is also one of the many reasons why they decided to rekindle their romance. But if you think all these two are only about is church, you couldn't be more wrong. The young Hollywood couple do more than just pray. They also go to restaurants, travel together, and go on fun dates all over the world. But the power couple isn't just all fun and games. They're also pretty busy hunting for a new place to call their home. They were recently spotted house shopping. You know, because when you're that rich, you don't only do your shopping at the mall. 
The Biebs is renting a house in LA, but it looks like he and Haley want to find something a little more permanent. In fact, the paparazzi caught them looking at none other than Demi Lovato's house. It turns out that the famous singer is selling her lavish mansion after a major setback with her sobriety. The home has four bedrooms and six bathrooms, not to mention a pool and a gazebo. It's pretty much everyone's dream house. And did we mention that it also comes with a chef's kitchen, a media room, and walk-in closets? Plus, it's got a great view of the Pacific Ocean and the downtown area. Lovato listed the 5,064-square-foot property at $9.45 million, but dropped it down to close to $8 million. Now that's a total steal, right? Most of us obviously couldn't afford Lovato's old digs, but Haley and the Biebs certainly could. So it looks like the couple might be putting down roots in LA after all. Sorry, Canada. Lately, we couldn't help but notice that Justin and Haley have been in an incredible mood. They've recently started posting videos on social media singing adorable Christmas carols. There are obviously no Scrooges in the Bieber household. And since this is their first Christmas as husband and wife, they're feeling quite festive. One thing we're sure of is that they seem to be totally in tune with one another, even coming up with all sorts of adorable nicknames. If you follow him on Instagram, you probably already know that he calls her Honey Buns Pumpkin and My Little Bean. How freaking cute is that? So all evidence seems to suggest that these two are headed for a fantastic and Merry Christmas this year. Thanksgiving is a time when families get together and bond, which is why the Biebs and Haley love this holiday so much. But since this was their first Thanksgiving together, the couple wanted it to be extra special. And this was a great opportunity to get both of their families together at the dinner table. Imagine what that star-studded table must have looked like. The Baldwin brothers are all actors, but did the Biebs outshine them? Absolutely not. They all got along great. In fact, their families seem to be a lot closer than we could have imagined. The Biebs got to host Thanksgiving for the first time, and he did an amazing job at it. And it was obvious that Haley's dad, Steven, got along with his new son-in-law. After all, they've known each other for years. But there were rumors suggesting Bieber's mom, Patty Millett, didn't approve of her son's union with Haley. Thankfully, that couldn't have been further from the truth. Patty commented on a pic of the lovely couple and called them stunning. So clearly, she's a believer of her adorable daughter-in-law. And that's wonderful because the last thing that Justin and Haley would want is to prep for Christmas on a sour note. Thanksgiving also served as a combo celebration, and it was a total blast. It ended with some cake smashing on poor Haley's face. But wait, isn't that something people do at their wedding reception? Well, it looks like the couple jumped ahead during Haley's 22nd birthday bash, and Justin's mom, Patty, captured the entire thing. She shared a video showing her son smashing a massive sheet of cake into his wife's face. Now that's what we call a super sweet surprise. Everyone appeared to be laughing, not that we could tell. The audio was replaced with laughs, I like me better. But was Haley mad? Well, if she was, she did a great job at hiding it. Both she and the Beeb shared a frosting-covered kiss afterwards, and then Haley's mother-in-law tweeted a heartfelt message saying she was so grateful to have Haley as a daughter. She also wrote, I love you in caps, which just goes to show you that some presents are priceless. After this experience, Haley undoubtedly felt like part of the Bieber family, but that wasn't the only gift that took Haley completely by surprise. The Biebs wasn't done surprising his wife. Haley and Justin are all about customized gifts, so wait until we tell you about her lavish birthday gift. To honor his new wife on her special day, he got her a Bieber necklace that was completely decked in diamonds. She undoubtedly jumped into his arms and pecked his face off with kisses, and who could blame her? Aside from being expensive, it was quite possibly one of the most romantic gifts ever. How else would you commemorate your love than with a diamond necklace? Haley posted a photo and a video on her Instagram stories, which undoubtedly made quite a few followers a little jealous. This was a great way for her to tell the world that she was proud to take her hubby's last name. But this isn't the first time they've shown off their love for personalized goods and each other. They were recently seen wearing customized Mr. Bieber and Mrs. Bieber jerseys at the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey game in Canada. Haley has also been seen wearing a denim jacket with her new last name embroidered on the back. So they've made it very clear that they are very married. But even though they enjoy having lavish vacations and exchanging luxurious gifts, Justin feels like money and fame can only get you so far. We've seen the Biebs at his best and have also seen him at his worst. Some fans have even noticed a lot of sadness on his face. But a lot of people act as if a celebrity isn't just a normal person, only because they have more money. But Justin decided to preach some words of wisdom that made people open their eyes. He pointed out that the glamorous lifestyle you see portrayed by famous people wasn't all it was cracked up to be. This made people wonder if he was unhappy about something. Everyone assumed that his relationship was on the rocks or perhaps being so famous was starting to take a toll on him. But the only thing he was trying to do 
do was share some words of wisdom online. Essentially, fame and fortune can only get you so far, but that's not the only thing that matters. And some of the stuff that we see on social media doesn't always tell the whole story. We do agree with the Biebs that social media is nothing but a smokescreen. Plus, money doesn't buy happiness. We all know that, but we've got to admit, most of us would rather cry the pain away in a Lamborghini, right? The Beeb seems to be living his very own happily ever after with his new wife, Haley. He obviously knows what he's doing because we've never seen him this happy. Do you think they'll be one of those Hollywood couples that stay together for decades and prove everyone wrong? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.